Uh, thank you. I will begin by thanking you and A, and especially Cameron Westhead, for inviting me to speak about health care and how to address one of the most critical issues on the minds of Albertans. Never in the history of our province have we seen a government so directly responsible for the recurring problems in our health care system. As I'm sure you're all aware, the progressive conservative record of incompetent management is de detailed in the scathing Health Quality Council report, a report that uncovered a culture of fear and intimidation. The Premier responded by brushing it aside and breaking her promise to call a full public judicial inquiry into the intimidation issue. There is a pattern of behavior that permeates throughout this government that commands instead of consults, that denies rather than accepts, and refuses to be accountable for their actions. The only concrete plan from this government has been to tell our burdens, trust us, we'll figure it out eventually. Our frontline health care workers deserve better, members of the UNA deserve better, and quite frankly, Albertans deserve better. In Alberta, we have the best health care professionals in the world, and our professionals deserve to work in a system of integrity, trust, and respect, not one of fear and intimidation. A while ago, Rose government will listen to you, the professionals, on how we can improve our health care system and ensure Albertans have timely access to the care they need. We will do the right thing and call an inquiry to address the intimidation of health care professionals. We will restore local decision making and put an end to the culture of th fear through the legislation of whistleblower protection. And we will add more frontline workers. We'll improve our public health care system, improve delivery, improve access, and most importantly, provide a government that all Albertans can be proud of again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate your invitation. Um, I'm running for the Alberta Party in, uh, in Calgary, Buffalo, and it's wonderful to be here tonight. Uh, it is the number one election issue. Um, Health care is on the, the, the minds and thoughts of everybody that we talked to when we went around the province and did a big listen. The Alberta Party talked to thousands of people and health care professionals and the like, and everyone has a story about the Alberta health care system right now. And uh, the healthcare professionals are worried that it'll be blown up again and uh, cause go back to chaos and confusion. The Health Quality Council, the number one recommendation, although the media keeps uh, talking about the intimidation of doctors and healthcare workers, which is certainly significant, but the number one recommendation of the Health Quality Council report was that the health system should uh, has been changed three times over the last ten years, and they would like some stability. Uh, so that we, relative stability to deal with the real challenges of improving quality health care that the Albertas, uh, Albertans deserve. And the second recommendation was that the government to, should be the ones that set policy and they shouldn't be micromanaging health care. So there's all kinds of solutions to go back to the, uh, the former uh, way it was with the zones and go back to the injurable things, but it would cost us three to four years, put us back into a crisis, and even worse than maybe what is already uh, in crisis right now. Alberta Health Services is already implementing the recommendations with great success. So we want you to take a moment to listen to all of, uh, all of the solutions that the different parties are offering you. And I'm glad you're here tonight to hear those solutions. This election, Albertans can change it all. The, the tone, they could bring back the respect that should be between Alberta Health Services and the government. We could define clarity in our roles and we could work together for constructive uh, um, common sense and common ground solutions for all Albertans in their health care. The, uh, um, and we have to acknowledge the good work. We have some world-class uh, health care. We are richer by most measures. It's a, it's a brilliant place to be. My thanks to United Nurses of Alberta uh, for each one of you for coming out tonight on a night that is enviable in Alberta's spring to be out and about and enjoying. I was envying the uh, joggers, bikers, and skateboarders as I came along here and began to think again about what does it mean to have a health system as opposed to a sickness care system. I left medical practice in 2002, rather unceremoniously, as some of you may remember, and entered politics basically for three reasons. First, I love this province, and I've not seen a government since Peter Lougheed that really acted decisively in the long-term public interest. Secondly, the present PC government does not respect science and best available evidence, does not do comprehensive evaluation before deciding public policy. And thirdly, this progressive conservative government does not respect people's right to dissent, to speak out 
in a democratic and free way in the most developed Western society. Public health care, along with education and supports for people in times of difficulty, is the measure of a competent, caring, responsible government. Accessible, affordable, universal, publicly administered, and accessible health care have been established as the principles of Medicare since the 60s. But principles are not enough. Medicare needs excellent management, and we have not had that. We do not need parasites, including insurance companies, coming between doctors and patients in a two-tiered private parallel system such as the U.S. is exemplifying. <laughs> the Alberta Liberal Party stands firmly in support of a public-funded, publicly-delivered health care with a five-point plan to repair the damage of 20 years of negligence and arrogance. There are three basic measures to assess our health care system. One is access. The second is quality, and the third is cost effectiveness. And I will have more to say. Thank you. <laughs> uh, friends, uh, thank you very much for having this, this forum this evening. Uh, thank all, all of you in, in union leadership in the nursing community and others in the medical profession for coming out. Uh, let's, let's be frank. Health care is a top of mind issue. And it's something that needs work. It needs fresh ideas. It doesn't need more restructuring. It needs actual, tangible ideas and innovations that will make change for individuals in our communities. And I'm proud that we, as the Progressive Conservative Party, have committed to 140 new family care clinics across this province. This is an innovation in healthcare that brings together healthcare providers and really provides a hub of services centered around the patient. This helps empower our nurses like never before, giving them more ability to be on the front line addressing patient needs first. This is innovation in healthcare. We don't need privatized health care. We don't need two-tier health care. We need smart health care that's accessible for all Albertans, and this is a perfect example of that. Under an Allison Redford government, you will not see American-style two-tier health care. You will see access for every single Albertan to a family physician, a family care clinic, or a primary care network. That's the sort of access we need. That's the sort of commitment we need to a strong public health care system. Thank you very much. Good evening. Health care when you need it, not just when you can afford it. Good evening. My name is Colin Anderson. I am the Alberta New Democrat candidate for Calgary Hawkwood. Um, thank you to uh, UNF 115 for organizing this forum, to all the candidates for participating, and a special thanks to all of you for taking the time to come out here this evening and this uh, important discussion on health care. Uh, we're here tonight to talk about health care, and it's no surprise that this is the number one issue of this election. It's no surprise because health care is at the top of Albertans' list of priorities, as with Canadians across this country. Let me first say that this is a most unusual election, the most unusual election in the past four decades, not the least of which is that the party that was brought you the first completely costed and most fiscally conservative budget, while still providing Albertans the services that they want and need, was the New Democrats. At the same time, the Tea Party North, the self-confessed libertarian Wild Rose Party, is handing out bucks for votes. And the Conservatives have abandoned the budget they pushed through the legislature before the election and have added huge election promissory costs without any explanation of how they'll pay for them. And the Liberals are making some wonderful promises, however, their budget doesn't add up either. This may come as a surprise to you, however, it shouldn't. Let's get the myth, big myth out of the way right away, that Conservatives are better with money and New Democrats are better with social policies. Well, it's true, we're better with social policies, but we're also better with the, with the dollars and spending your tax dollars. Um, I have here a federal 
Department of Finance report that shows new Democrat governments across this country from 1986 to 2009 had the most balanced budgets and ran more surpluses than any other government in this country. Oh, thank you very much.